All right, now right now we're going to focus on the order of operations. Now the order of operations come into play when we have a number sentence or an expression that has not just addition or subtraction or multiplication or division, but has more than one. Okay, it could have exponents in there, it could have division and um, addition. We have to know what order to do, so which one to do first, which one to do second, which one to do third, and so on. If not, we will get the wrong answer. Now, one of these little mnemonic devices or riddles saying, as, as, as it were, are, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Okay. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And the reason why I learned that years ago, um, you've probably heard it as well. And the reason why is because the beginning letter of each of those words stands for a different operation, a different a different thing we need to do in math. The P stands for parentheses. So if we see um, parentheses anywhere on there, we know that we do whatever's inside those parentheses first. The E for excuses exponents. If we see exponents, we have to make sure we do those before we do multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. My dear stands for multiplication and division. And the reason why they're on the same line is because they're a, a, of equal priority. If you see multiplication and division in the same number sentence, you start with the one on the furthest left and then work your way over to the right. Okay, Multiplication doesn't have to come first. Just whichever one um, is furthest to the left. Aunt Sally stands for addition and subtraction. Now, they're on the same line because they're of the same priority. You basically have to go from left to right, like you're reading a book. Okay? So I'm going to show this um, with a couple of problems. Okay? Now, as you see, I have my little cheat sheet up here to remind us what to do. And the first problem we have is 6 minus 7 times 4 divided by 2. Now, I already underlined what we're going to do first because, please, we have parentheses right here. Okay. Now, 7 times 4. I know that's 28. So I can rewrite my problem again. I can simplify it Okay. after I figure out that answer. And when I simplify it, it's 26 minus 28 divided by 2. Okay. So I have the 28 divided by 2. Now as I look, I don't have any more parentheses. I don't have any exponents. But I do have multiplication division. And I have subtraction. So I do my division first. 28 divided by 2. 28 divided by 2, that's 14. So my last problem, I simplify it. 26 minus 14. And 26 minus 14 equals 12. I'm going to try a little more difficult one now. 2 to the third power plus the product of 9 times 2 divided by 3. Now just like before, I look at, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, I have parentheses. I need to do that one first. So 9 times 2 is 18. So when I simplify it, I have... 2 to the third power minus 18 divided by 3. Now I have an exponent. I've done my parentheses. Now I have my exponent. I have to do that one next. 2 to the third power, 2 or 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So I'm going to simplify that again. 8 minus 18 divided by 3. Now I have this red line here, and the reason why is because all I have left now are division and subtraction. And division comes um, before subtraction, order of operations. Okay, so 18 divided by 3, I know that's 6. So now I can simplify my problem again. 8 minus 6, and I know the answer is 2. So as you see, Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, subtraction. When you get one of these longer um, number sentences, you have to figure out which operation to do first and just keep simplifying until you have one answer left.